Yeah, Lauren, Max Lynn survived an earlier challenge. He made the ballot by a margin of 18 ballot petition signatures. Now his primary opponent, Eric Brakey, says there are new problems with Lynn's nominating papers. This afternoon was the second time Max Lynn sat through a hearing regarding whether his campaign actually collected 2,000 valid signatures to put his name on the June primary ballot. My campaign has been completely stalled with fundraising because people say we don't even know if you're on the ballot. The first challenge happened late last month. Secretary of State Matt Dunlap decided to toss several problematic signatures. Lynn admitted his campaign made mistakes, but he hung on by just 18 signatures. Now, the Brakey campaign says it has identified at least 20 more questionable signatures. This is a uh, petition gathering campaign that has been fraught with fraud. Why didn't you guys have this evidence at the first hearing? Uh, because of the time frame was so condensed, uh, we could only really focus on the fraud and forgeries and the deceased people that we came across. And then checking to see if they're actually registered Republicans was a secondary uh, thing that we just didn't have time for. Every day in a campaign is irreplaceable. Lynn's team wanted District Court Judge William Stokes to block the introduction of new evidence. There's one bite at the apple. But Stokes ruled and the Secretary of State's office agreed that the new alleged evidence deserves new attention. These timelines are very uh, accelerating, uh, very demanding, and I think it's unrealistic to expect that uh, all the information that could have been presented uh, would have been presented. And now the pace picks up even more. Expect a new hearing in front of the Secretary of State either Monday or Tuesday of next week. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.